I started playing the saxophone when I was 29 years old, and um, I wanted to learn. And I was listening to a lot of Grover Washington and David Sanborn and Bob James and all of these guys. And um, even though I started playing piano at a young age, I stopped playing music, but I was always around music. I wanted it so bad, I took flute lessons. I couldn't find a saxophone teacher. And at the rec center on bass, somebody was teaching flute lessons. So I would, because the flute and the saxophone had the same fingering. So I started taking flute lessons. And then when I bought my saxophone, I applied that um, to the saxophone. And I, when I bought my saxophone, I asked the guys, always one guy at the rec center that know how to do everything. Shoot pool real good, play ping pong real good, play all the games. So I'm gonna ask this guy if he can play the saxophone. He said, yeah. I said, I want you to show me one thing, how to put the mouthpiece together. He showed me that and I went home and just started practicing, got my book, went through scales and I had a, uh, had a routine that um, I used to do. I would practice my scales and then I would put a record on and try to play along with it. So a year later, I was getting ready to go to Desert Storm and I'm like, man, I wanna play in a club somewhere before I go because I don't know what the outcome is gonna be. So I was stationed in Savannah there was a jazz club down there called Hannah's. It was ran by a guy named Ben Tucker. And they gave me an opportunity to come in there. They knew I was going overseas. They gave me an opportunity to come in and play one song. It was a Cannonball Adley tune called Work Song. And I've just been obsessed ever since. As a musician, sometimes we can get caught up in playing and wanting to play so fast and play so loud and uh, impress everybody. So a friend of mine told me one time, I let him hear one of my records. And I was so proud of this record. And he said, man, this is good. He said, but you need to let the music breathe. I didn't know what that meant at the time. I was kind of upset, man, you didn't, you didn't like my record. And I thought about it, let the music breathe. And what that really means is let people hear what you played and you listen to what you played and respond to what you played. That guy used to play for Al Green, by the way. And he also played for Brick. Music is a gift and I get to share it with people all over the world because you know I have recordings so people all over the world can hear the recordings locally people can come hear me play and the thing about it is somebody might come hear me play that's having a bad week and then they for two three hours they can let that go and just have a good time and enjoy themselves so uh, music is a gift and I get to share it I'm saxophonist Dexter Tosin what do you speak <laughs>